Hello friends, in this video we will understand Java modulus or mode operator with some examples and use cases. So let's begin. Assume we have an integer number 1 to 3 and we divide it by 10, what we get in output is 12. The actual mathematical output of this division would be 12.3 but because both numbers are integer, we are getting the output as integer only. So the point 3 is being discarded in integer conversion. So let's cast it with float and see what we get. We are getting 12.3 here. So we can say that when we divide number 1 to 3 by 10, the value after decimal point, which is 3 in our example, is the remainder or leftover value. And using modulus operator, we can get that value directly. So when we do 1 to 3 mode 10, we get 3 as output. It means we can get remainder of the division operation directly using the mode operator. Ok now let's see some actual use cases of when we need to use it in our programs. First common use case is when we want to check if the given number is odd or even. When a number is perfectly divisible by 2, it means the remainder of the division would be 0. So let's try it with some examples. Here we can see for the first two numbers the output is 0 means those numbers are even as those are perfectly divisible by 2 and the other two numbers are odd as there is remainder left over. So we can use the same logic in if condition like this to check if given number is odd or even simply by checking if the remainder is 0 it means it's an even number otherwise it's an odd number. Using the same logic, we can check if a given number is perfectly divisible by any other number or not. For example, here 21 mode 7 will return 0. So number 21 is divisible by 7. Coming to the next use case of this operator. Whenever we want to split the digits of an integer, we can use the mode operator as we have seen in the first example of this video. When we do 1 to 3 mode 10, what we get is 3, which is the last digit of the number. Let's print it. Next, we can discard the last digit from the number by doing number equal to number by 10. Let's run it and see if the last digit was discarded. And now we can just repeat the above process to get the second last digit from the number. Let's print it again and check. This way we can just run these two lines in a loop to split out all the digits from the number one by one. Let's run it and see if you are getting all the digits. Trying another example, the same way even if the number is a bit bigger, we can easily get individual digits from the number. That's it folks, thank you so much for watching.